Hi everyone, I'm Lisa, the creator of the Wriggle and Roll series of baby sensory classes. Did you know that taking baby to the park can provide big sensory exposure for them? I have a whole series of videos on sensory development, but for anyone watching this as the first, here's a brief recap of why baby sensors are so crucially important to their overall development. So essentially, we often talk about milestones for our babies, but sensory stimulation is a vital part of helping baby reach those, and here's why. Our brains receive information from our different senses, literally from conception onwards. So that helps us build a picture and make sense of both our bodies and the world around us. And of course, it's largely an unconscious process, but the more positive sensory exposure we have, the better our bodily systems work together, which then in turn leaves us feeling safe and secure to further explore, grow and learn. A baby's sensory experiences across their first thousand days, which is conception to two years old, are crucial in terms of influencing brain development and behaviours across their lives. So in this series, I'm looking at our eight sensory systems. That's right, eight, not just the commonly talked of five how they develop and how we can promote positive sensory experiences for baby. In this video, I'm looking at the vestibular system. Haven't heard of it? <laughs> You're definitely not alone. A lot of people haven't and I certainly hadn't until I started speech therapy with my oldest um, and realized just how important and connected it was. So firstly, what is the vestibular system for those of you that haven't come across the term? Well, it's one of the three newer senses on the block in addition to the traditional five most people know. The vestibular system is located in our inner ear and contributes to balance and our sense of orientation and knowing where our bodies are in space. It's the system informing our brain about our movement and position in relation to gravity. So for example, how does your brain compute and make sense of the world when we hang upside down. The more input our brain receives in the early years from this system, the more neural pathways that are formed in the brain so that as we grow, we can do things such as fix our eyes as we move, react in order to retain balance in certain situations, think about cartwheel, all the things we have to do to make sure we return to a standing position. But what's that got to do with language, I hear you say. And why did I learn about it in my daughter's speech therapy? Well, fascinatingly, an underdeveloped vestibular system can be linked to language delays and serves as a perfect example of how important sensory input can be to reaching milestones. Because it's linked to movement, the vestibular system plays a crucial part in motor development and motor planning, which includes the tongue, the lips and the jaw, which are all needed for speech production. So children with apraxia like my daughter, those with oral motor challenges or articulation problems are examples of children who may have challenges with their vestibular system that then impact their postural control, their muscle tone, their motor coordination or their motor planning. And in addition, the vestibular system is our orientating system. And so when it dysfunctions, we can feel unsafe, which can impact our awareness of sounds, our coping mechanisms for loud sounds or our ability to receive and process auditory information. So in summary, think of the vestibular system as the body's GPS system. It's very closely linked with all our other sensory systems and plays an important part in their integration with each other, such as visual tracking, hand-eye coordination, muscular development, linguistic development, development of independent skills, emotional and physical self-regulation, development of good balance. But that is just one example of many of our baby's sensory systems and how they're connected to overall development. So the essential takeaway is this, the more sensory exposure, the more our babies can make sense of the world around them, feel secure and go on to develop and grow. So how can you help your baby's vestibular system develop? Well, a lot of, uh, ironically, a lot of the things we do naturally are because on a sensory level, they provide vestibular input for our babies that are often calming. So for example, when you rock your baby gently back and forth, you're providing them with vestibular sensory stimulation and input. When we move baby during baby massage routines, when we're moving up and down whilst they're in our arms, the playground offers a lot of vestibular stimulation, most noticeably and easily the swings are great for that. And some regular roll activities, well, our classes have been carefully designed to provide a variety of sensory stimulation. So some examples of songs where you move your baby and stimulate their vestibular system, in particular, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, where we're rowing baby on our knees, Zoom to the Moon, Animal Dance Party, Sunshine Song, all ones where we're dancing and moving with baby. But I do just want to end on an important note and say that all babies are different. They develop on their own timeline and also in terms of how they respond to sensory stimulation. So whilst one baby may love being massaged, a may, another may show dislike or disinterest. So this is to give you a general idea, but your may, baby may do things a little later than timeframes, always go at their ability and comfort level. 
If they don't like a particular sensory activity, then stop. Although perhaps try again another time, as it can sometimes just be if it's the first time they've experienced something and it's surprising. If you're unsure though, in terms of the development of your baby, any activity is right for them, then just always consult your healthcare team before proceeding. Sensory processing disorder is a condition that affects um, how someone processes sensory stimulation, which may mean that they're overly sensitive to stimuli that others aren't. So if you're concerned if that's the case for your baby, again, equally consult a health expert. Otherwise, I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Please drop me a like and subscribe or a comment. Um, I'll be following up with some more in the sensory series shortly, um, but otherwise, please join us for a class or song soon.